Welcome to Duck Club Tuning and Finding the Sweet Spot. Grab a cup of coffee and like and subscribe. And welcome back to Duck Club Tuning, Finding the Sweet Spot. I decided to run some statistics. It's the end of the year. We're coming to the close of the year and I have a lot of data. Engineering, we have a saying in engineering, it's in God we trust, all others bring data. And I'm about to show you the data that I've compiled and you can judge for yourself what it really means. But I think it points to some people's choice awards for some of the IEMs that I have had over my desk in the past year. And with that, let's get stuck into the people's choice. Out of 3,178 emails, for reviewed IEMs, not just the best guesses that I did, but IEMs that I've reviewed, I have received 3,178 requests for PEQs. And this list shows which PEQs, I'm gonna put it up so that everyone can see it a little bit closer. You can see from the left, the T-Pro has had the most requests at around 440. Then the top pro from Zen's Manger at about 400 and let's say 20. And then the Duck Bloke collab, my collab with Hydez, the MK12X Duck Bloke. Now, the reason that, and in a sharp drop down to about 140, the reason that I've had so many requests is because once this started shipping, people were a bit confused as to where to get the PEQs. So they were coming to me. And that's one of the reasons, because the whole thing behind that is to have the PEQs. So that's the reason for the skew. That's why it's number three in the list. And then the deuce. So the deuce was a very popular IEM, but it's been also been out for over a year. So like a, a, a year and two months, three months. So people have been requesting PEQs for this for quite some time. It is at number four at about eh, 100 and let's say 35. And then the MK12 Tourist, the original, the OG MK12 had a lot of PEQ requests for it because I made a PEQ for this before I did a collab with Hydes on this. And that was at about 120. And then the Martello, the Origin, and then the Mega 7. Now it's important to understand the Origin is, is a review that was over a year ago. So again, this was about 14 months ago that I did the Origin. It was one of my first reviews. The Mega 7 has only been out for about a month. So having about 80 requests for PEQs means it's very popular. And then we have the Mega 5 EST Base Plus, Again, that was, that's was that been out for about a year, almost a year, um, and that has just under that. So the Mega 7, you can see, is much more popular from a PEQ request perspective than the Mega 5 EST Base Plus. Then the Monarch Mark IV, which is fairly new, the Punch X HBB from Kiwi Ears, the Monarch Mark III, the Defiant, the Keno Crystallis, the Quantum, the Valhalla, Grand Maestro, the CP622B, very expensive IEM. So now we're starting to drop off where not a lot of people have these IEMs, but they're still very popular. The Project Meta was a very rare IEM because I think there were only 300 of them made. And then the EA500LM that's been around for a long time. The EBC-80 was quite popular. The Omega, again, is a very expensive IEM, but it's also very popular amongst people who have the money to pay for it. The Da Vinci, I have only had the review out for, I don't know, a month and a half. So that is very popular because even though the, the numbers are small, it hasn't been out that long. Even in the, the IEM has been around for a while. It just hadn't gotten around to doing the review on it. And then the P50 from EPZ, the Dusk, the Dawn X, the Ra, and then the Prestige Limited. And you think, why is the Prestige Limited so low on the list. Well, it was only done like on December 1st. So it's only been done for 13 days. The number of requests I've had for people that own the Prestige Limited, it's been around for a while, but the people that have it love it. And the people that love it ask for the PEQs. And the people that use the PEQs really enjoyed the PEQs because it changed the Prestige Limited that they've had for a while and made it better. On to the Macbeth. So the Macbeth is probably the highest ranking IM that I have in my list, but there's not many people that have it. So there's only about 25 people have asked for PEQs cues for the Macbeth. Then the Daybreak, the Luna, Prismatica, which I ranked really high after PEQ, but there's not that many people that have bought it. And then the Spectromica, the, the Shock, the Archangel, the RN6, the Aurora, the Maris. I know you guys can read. Uh, and then I did a I did one on the AirPod Pro 3, and I actually tuned it, and not that many people asked for the PEQs for it. And that's because people that have the AirPod Pro 3 typically have an iPhone, and they would have to run the PEQ through like Neutron Player or something like that. So it's a little bit of an odd duck. And then we have the Spa Limited 2. We have the Omnium, the Alter Ego, 
the Air 5 Pro, the Mauza, the Incognita, and then the Septit. Though that's the, the list that I've reviewed and how many emails I've received for the PEQs after I've list, listed this on YouTube. What's important to understand is how many days since the review. So these are in the same order. And again, this is all up and down because you, you, when you look at the T-Pro, when you look at the Top Pro, when you look at the, the MK12, when you look at the, you know, those haven't been on all that long. So they've been on for, let's say, the, the T-Pro has been on for about 200 and let's say 25 days. The Top Pro I reviewed at about 100 and let's say 70 days ago. Uh, so they have the highest number. So that means that they're very, very popular. And then when you look at something like the Deuce, this has already been on for like 440 days. So this has been on my review system for quite some time. The numbers are going to be skewed because of the amount of time. So now we're what we're going to look at is how we figure out how to take time and the number of PEQ requests and figure out an, an average. Here's the average per day. So now we take the number of requests divided by the number of days it's been up. So again, let me put this up so everyone can see a little bit better. Again, at the front of the list, you have the T-Pro, the Top Pro, and you can see that those numbers are still very high. But now the Top Pro takes over because it hasn't been on YouTube with me anyway, as long as the T-Pro. Even though there's been fewer requests, it's been on less time. So the number of requests per day on average are about 2.5. And I can attest to this. I am constantly sending out Top Pro and T-Pro PEQ settings uh, to people that own them. And then we have the x duck bloke that has a huge spike that's only been around for uh, three months. It's only just started shipping. And that's why you see that spike up now is because it started shipping and people have requested the three PEQs that I made for it. You can see that not that many people have requested on, on average per day the Deuces PEQs, even though they do ask for it, that drops right down to about 0.25. Even though the Deuce, when you look at the other list, was quite high as to the the number of requests, it's because it's been on YouTube. One of the longest IEMs I've had was one of the first ones that I did. And then the MK12 Taurus, the Martello, the Origin. And what's a real tell here is when you, again, you look at the Mega 7 and look at that huge spike that you're seeing in the Mega 7, where it's about 1.8 requests per day. And this is only just started shipping. People are starting to receive their Mega 7s and reaching out to me for the PEQ settings. So it's very popular with the PEQ settings applied. Another one that's sort of standing out is the Prestige. Again, I only did this review about 13 days ago, and on average, I'm getting about 1.35 uh, requests per day for PEQs from legacy owners of the Prestige Limited. And you can make what you will out of the rest of the list. By the way, I'm going to make this list available on a PDF. So if you email me, I will send you the PDF so that you've got this and you can review this data yourself. Next is the number of views on YouTube. So how many views has each one of these IMs had? And again, remember I said the Origin and let's say the Monarch Mark III have been up for a long time on, on YouTube. So therefore they've had a lot of views. So that over 6,000, so about 6,600 ish. And then the T Pro and the Top Pro, the Top Pro has actually had more re more views, even though it's been on less time and it's had a lot of views. So you can again, see the popularity of the T Pro and the Top Pro. The Valhalla has been around for a year uh, that comes up next. And then all of a sudden, boom, Mega 7. The Mega 7, again, shows how popular it is. It's had about 3,900 views on my review since I put it up. And it's only been up for about uh, six weeks. So again, it's a very popular anticipated IEM. And this is starting to point to what a people's choice is by how many people are clicking on it and reviewing it and seeing it. And then the MK12 Taurus, very popular. Again, 3,800. So uh, uh, this is the OG. This is not my collab. And then you can see the Monarch Mark IV that's fairly recent, that's very popular. The Mega 5 EST Base Plus. The Punch X HBB by Kiwi Ears, very popular. The Martello, very popular. The Omega, people are wanting to view it, but not as many people are buying it because they're not asking for the PEQs. 
because it's expensive. But people like to see the expensive thing. Just not everyone can afford the expensive thing. And then we've got the Deuce, the EBC-80, the Defiant, which I rated really high and, and cost like 80 bucks. So the Defiant is on here and the, the, the my review has, has been up, I think, since August. And then the Macbeth, again, that's because people like to see what the end game IEMs perform at, but not as many people ask for the PQs because they can't afford it. They don't sell as many of those IEMs. And then the P50, surprisingly. So the P50 was very actually very popular EPZ uh, and then the Ra which is also from Omega the Keno Chrysalis the Grand Maestro the CP622B the Shock and so on I'll let you read the rest of the list yourself and then the average views per day so now we're getting back into an average where we take the number of views and divide it by the number of days it's been up and again the T Pro and the Top Pro are ranking pretty high they're at about 25 35 views per day since they've been up and they've been up for quite some time like half a year. My collab that's had quite a few views, but really the ones to look out for are the, the OG, which is the MK12 Taurus. It's had a lot of views since that went up. And then the Mega 7, boom. Again, this is pointing to the popularity anticipation that people have had for this IEM. It's going to skew because it hasn't been on very long and the number of views on average per day are going to be higher the newer the review. You're going to see that the, the Mega 7 is very popular. It's been up for about six weeks. The Prestige Limited has only been up for about 13 days and it spikes up but I expect that to drop very quickly as the owners of the Prestige Limited which has been out for over two and a half years grab the PEQs and then move on. So um, the Archangel is one that, that people really, really, the, the, the pen and followers, they have asked for this PEQ quite a bit and they've been re looking at this online. You've got the Monarch Mark IV that was very popular. De the Defiant again spikes up. The Dawn X, which is fairly new, released at, at CanJam time. I saw it at CanJam and then got it from Mark Ryan. Um, he sent it to me in September and I did a review on it. So the number of, of views on that has been quite high. But again, that's a thousand dollar IM that's starting to get into the kilobuck region. The Valhalla, still quite high. I still get a lot of requests on it. It's still the flagship from the audio. And again, the Defiant. The Defiant is one that gets a lot of views because it's very popular at people under the $100 mark. Then we look at the number of comments. Looking at YouTube, how many comments have people made for each one of my reviews? And the Top Pro has the highest number of comments. And it's been out for about, uh, what is it, 175 days? And it has had about 190, 195 comments comments on that review and you can look at it yourself so this is data you can check yourself by going into YouTube and looking at how many are there so it's not fudged it's real data uh, and then the deuce had a lot of comments and and the reason the do and again it's been on for a long time but the reason the deuce had a lot of comments there were a lot of late shipments and people were complaining but they also like the IM so there's two different types of, of comments there and then the MK12 Taurus a lot of comments on it very popular amongst the community to be discussing it, right and then the mega seven spikes up. Wow. Again, this has only been out for a couple months as a review, and it's at about 150 comments on my video for this, which means a lot of people are talking about. And then the Origin's been out for a long time, so you can expect that. The same thing with the, the Modoc Mark III. And then the, the Duck Bloke version, there's a lot of comments, a Liam Duck Bloke, so you would expect that. And then Megafest, Base Plus, the Mega5 ESC Base Plus, the Valhalla, the T-Pro. There's not as many comments on the T-Pro, but there's a lot of requests for, for PQs for it. And that surprised me. There's not as many people talking about it. The top pro seems to be the one. The, when it comes to people's choice, the top pro seems to be the one. And we're going to talk about the people's choice here in just a bit. The Monarch Mark IV, the EBC-80, the Punch, again, the, the, the Kiwi Ears Punch, and then the Martello, the, the Quantum, Project Meta, the Aurora, the Macbeth, the Omega, the P50, the Ra, Grand Maestro, and so on. And I'll, again, I'll let you read the ones that have the fewest comments on your own. Now, here's the people's choice. So if I look at the emails that requests that I've had. And I take my own collab out because again, it's my collab. So people are going to be sending me a lot of emails asking me questions. So take the black one out. It's the T Pro and the Top Pro. People's choice uh, just by popularity are going to be the this Zen's Mangard T Pro and Top Pro. And I think the Top Pro even more so because it hasn't been on as long, even though the number of emails is higher. And the number of PQ settings that I've sent out, it's actually more for the Top Pro. And when you look at, you know, the Deuce, the MK12 Tour, very popular, very, very popular IEMs. Uh, the Martello, 
the origin has been in there a long time. And then again, the Mega 7, it hasn't been on here very long. And it is a people's choice. It's really starting to raise up. The number of days it's been on the market, it's going up. So the ones in green are really the what I would say the people's choice are all the way down to the EA 500 LM and the, and the uh, Omega. And then it starts to dr drift off from there to, to not that many requests. But from a request perspective, everything from, let's say, the Omega up, these seem to be the most popular ones. Then the people's choice on average per day. Again, it's the T-Pro and the Top Pro. Taking the duck bloke out because it's my uh, my collab. And then in third place, though, in peach color there, is the Mega 7. Boom! That big spike in the Mega 7. And again, it's only been out for a couple months. But on average, it's almost getting two requests per day. And I expect that to keep going up as this starts to ship, as people start to buy it, especially over the Christmas season, uh, the holidays. I expect them to sell a lot more of these and people to be reaching out to me for a lot more of the PEQs. So very, very popular. The Mega 7 is becoming very, very popular. And then uh, you look at the Defiant, it spikes up. The Prestige Limited, again, it's only been on for 13 days. Uh, it seems to be a people's choice for a kilobuck IEM. I think it's the best one kilobuck IEM out there. Prestige, and it's been out for two and a half years. And when you put the PEQs on it, man, is it magic. And then, of course, you know, the, the OG MK12 Taurus is quite high. And I've, I've already mentioned, you know, the Martello is there, the Monarch Mark IV, um, the Project Meta, all the ones in green, I think are the people's choice. And then my picks. So I'm going to give you my picks for the year. I'm going to pick the Top Pro over the T-Pro. So the Top Pro, I'm going to take my collab out. Then I'm going to look at the Deuce, the original MK12 Taurus, the Mega 7, the Mega 5 EST Base Plus, the Monarch Mark IV, the Monarch Mark III, the Defiant, the Quantum, the Grand Maestro, the Project Meta, the Omega, Prestige Limited, the Macbeth, the Prismatica, which I ranked really high. It had the biggest change out of all the IMs that I did. And then the Maris. Those are my, my picks. Those are Duck Bloke's picks out of the list. And with that, these are the final stats for my emails. 378 emailed PQs for reviewed IMs. I sent another 2,437 emails for PQs for best guesses because I've got a full list of best guesses. Reach out to me if you haven't seen this and ask me if I've got it. If you have it, I'll send it to you. If I don't, I'll tell you no. On average, people send a request for 2.3 PEQs per email. Some people have sent me lists of 10, and I've sent like seven that I have to them. Nobody's asking me for all of my PEQs. I'm not going to send all of my PEQs, but, you know, be, be kind, be gentle to Duck Bloke. Ask for what you have, and, and then I'll, I'll, re I'll respond with what I've got as well. And then my response time. So that brings me to the response time, about two hours. It takes me Usually it takes me about less than half an hour to respond to you, but on average, it's about two hours to respond. Every once in a while, I miss one. Somehow, I, you know, maybe I delete it by accident or, or something. I apologize. Just resend it. If you haven't heard from me, resend it. And with that, uh, growing the channel, moving into the holiday season, looking forward to having a couple of weeks off and doing more reviews for you guys. So more than just one a week. And with that, happy Sunday, Duck Bloke out.